I took some themes and characters from Chekhov and put them into a blender. Oh. Your sadness is very heavy this morning, Sonia. Can you lighten it any? No. Could you go to a different room? Leave the morning room. But I'm in mourning for my life. Oh, oh. I hope you're not going to be making Chekhov references all day. If they come up, I may. Oh, it's been our cross to bear that our parents gave us names from Chekhov plays. In terms of where we left it in New York, when the Broadway production ended, and this production, I think it, it's evolved some, but mainly that's because we've got three new actors in it. And I think whatever has um, changed has just been a natural result of them, um, their own creativity, creating their own visions of the roles, and also our three original actors being so open to adjusting to that. Really, darling, you want to wait in a pond? Yeah, it's a hot day. Well, I suppose it is. There are frogs in the pond, you know. I like frogs. Did you bring your swimsuit? I could just strip down to my underwear. Oh. See you later, babe. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go cool off in the pot. <laughs> Originally, Chris wrote the part of Vanya for himself to play. Is that true? And when you were playing a part that was written by the author, uh, you I don't know if this is always true, but uh, for himself, in Vanya's case, he spends a lot of the play observing. He spends a lot of the play um, kind of directing in a way in that he's trying to take care of his sisters and when they start to get into conflict he tries to avoid it and he tries to make things okay and, uh, and finally he loses his temper and goes insane. So it's exactly <laughs> like my directing style. Let it be a leap of faith and go with the flow of the words. Hmm. I feel this may be a crossroads for me. At this moment I can choose to be one of those actors who argues and frets and challenges endlessly and who makes rehearsals an enormous trial. <laughs> or I can choose to be one who listens and says all right and just tries to make it work. Because we've been through actually counting Broadway three different rehearsal periods, I felt uh, it was a great idea that he would come and direct here. When people see it, they say, oh, well, now I see why you wanted to do the play. And I wanted to do it in the first four lines because it's so, you know, there's no one, no one writes like him. It's a very unique voice, it's a very unique humor which goes straight into what I think is funny. And uh, that lovely balance of absurdity uh, that's just not that far, sadly, from real life. Oh fools, look at the high but not looking ahead. Dost thou not sense thy attendant doom? Cassandra, I have asked you repeatedly to please just say good morning, all right? <laughs> regret, regret, regret. 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 Please don't change the focus to yourself, Sonia. <laughs> I'm talking now. You can talk later. When? 4.30. What am I dressed as? You, you can't tell? I think so. Are you that silent screen actress from the old movie who lives in the mansion and says I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Tobias? <laughs>